Invite a Budget Blind Style Consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening. We begin tonight with tragic news. A 41-year-old man is dead following a collision between a pickup and a motorcycle yesterday. Police say it happened around 5.30 p.m. at the intersection of Highway 28 and the Fort Kent turnoff. The man driving the motorcycle was airlifted by Stars to Edmonton but died from his injuries. The driver of the pickup was not injured. RCMP continue to investigate. And RCMP have charged a 27-year-old man with manslaughter following a death on the Musselman First Nation. Police found the body of 23-year-old Brett Frenchman Saturday. Jeremy Gamble of No Fix Addressed is charged in connection with the death. He remains in custody and made his first court appearance this morning. Now, the prospect of a casino in Lloydminster is a polarizing subject. Social media filled with discussion after plans were announced last week. Little Pine First Nation already owns a land just east of the new co-op gas bar and is ready to break ground once the city councillors give their approval. Realistically, to get anything going, it's going to be a while yet, at least a year. Little Pine Chief Wayne Samaganis is confident the plans will go through. The last time a casino was proposed in Lloydminster, the public voted against it in a plebiscite. This time, community input has not been officially considered. Everywhere there's casinos, there's negative community reaction. But um, again, there's, there's also professional people to help people that do have gambling addictions, that do have those problems. We look at it from an uh, economic development initiative. And uh, of course, um, there's all kinds of impacts from all types of developments. So there's probably uh, you know, community opportunity uh, to benefit in uh, any type of development that comes into our city. So Magnus says 25% of the casino profits will be reinvested locally. One third of that money would be accessible to the city. He adds jobs are another benefit. If we bring at least 300 staff, that's a lot of people that are working and spending buying products here in the city. And as well, many staff members will likely be Aboriginal. It's always been a good start from what I've seen of it. Gaming for First Nations people, it's helped us a lot. And certainly it will help the city of Lloydminster too. Once the casino partners submit their application, council will decide in the final, if the final project will go ahead. Well, for the month of June, Lloydminster RCMP are focusing on an initiative to change perception of safety on roadways. Yesterday, police launched their traffic safety awareness campaign in hopes of preventing future traffic-related injuries and deaths. They're encouraging drivers to pay extra attention to checking blind spots, signaling appropriately, and to stay a safe distance from other vehicles. Police will be ticketing for all violations, but are paying special attention to one specific problem. This month we are actually particularly focusing on tinted windows. We find that uh, window tint in the passenger and driver's side front uh, windows are becoming an issue. Um, the citizens of Lloydminster have expressed their concern with uh, window tint. Commercial truck drivers are reminded to comply with national safety codes in terms of completing proper trip inspections, securing their loads, and to adhere to transportation of dangerous good laws. Now, police advise that drivers in the graduated license program cannot use any type of cell phone while driving. That includes hands-free devices such as Bluetooth or earphones. Well, officials say the wildfire situation in Alberta is slowly improving. Right now, 36 wildfires are burning across the province. Five of those are out of control. Now, about 300 firefighters continue to battle a fire near the Four Wing Coal Lake.